Hello, this is Shana Barr. I am the Senior Content Leader for Music for National Heritage Academy's uh, Charter Schools, and I am recording this video to show how to do a talent show, but a virtual talent show using Flipgrid. And so I'm going to walk you through my process and some of the tips and tricks that I have learned to help make this successful. So uh, you can see a screenshot here of my um, advertisement that I sent out to all the families. We are the Peak Pirates, so uh, I requested any type of uh, artistry or special skills and even something as, you know, maybe you just want to share a great joke. And then I provided some guidelines. So here are the guidelines and submission info. You see we're doing two different things. We're doing an art show where anyone who has a visual art talent can take a picture of their art and send that to the art teacher, Mrs. Harrison, and she's going to compile that into an art slideshow so we're asking for anything that would be whether it's uh, artwork or a sewing piece anything that is representing the visual arts go to her and then anything else so this would be anything that would be a talent or a skill we would uh, make a video of that and then send it to me and I've only uh, gave some guidelines simple ones like is it uh, k8 appropriate um, and we're trying to keep it around two minutes so that we don't see all of Susie's dance recital or listen to all three movements of Beethoven's Sonata. So we're trying to keep the flow of our talent show to around two minutes of performance. Uh, obviously, I got some feedback from that where some people wanted to provide more. And again, it's not about sharing, you know, 20 minutes of your talent. It's a snapshot of that talent. And so let me show you the process that I go through. So once I download the video, I created a folder here for me to download all of them. And you can see where just to keep up with the process, I have uploaded done. And here are some that are needing to be uploaded. So I have uh, four videos on standby. So let's go ahead and go to Flipgrid and I can show you how I upload these videos. So once in Flipgrid, I created my virtual talent show grid and I wanted this to be our platform because it's so easy for everyone to be able to just type in their school email and access all the videos and so you can see that I already started uploading a lot of them and you'll notice that you don't see any faces I did this with the whiteboard and I can show you how to do that so that you can see the name and the grade and then what their talent is I thought that would be better than trying to capture every single kids face which uh, this way it's a little bit easier to see the different types of talent uh, you can watch it randomly you can watch it as a slideshow but here's the other reason other than the privacy which I really like for securing privacy with our students the other reason I picked Flipgrid is because you can go and comment on the video and provide that compassion and encouragement and kudos to all the great talent and so let me show you when you go to the educators uh, platform for this here's you can see all of my videos and the way you set this up is that you go over here to edit topic and you can select how long the videos can be and but if you look down here it says student to student replies allow students to reply via video to another student so I would like them to do that I think it fosters a wonderful uh, community so it's not just I hope my friends watch my video but my friends and teachers can actually reply and comment on um, doing such a great job if you don't want this to, uh, you need to unselect that so uh, we're all ready to go though so we're going to go back to uploading the videos so I'm going to click click on the plus sign and it's going to take me to my file so it's going to show me hi and we don't want me to make a video we want to upload a video so we go to this little upload file button click it click upload video and it's going to bring here's my file I'll upload Amy's and so Amy has an mp4 file and perfect there's, there's no bad so now she's getting ready to do a monologue that she's done but if this file was too big and there's a red bar that's going to pop up here saying your file exceeds the maximum amount of whatever if that happens you're going to need to compress your file so a couple ways to do this the one way that I find is easiest is to use a program known as P s to pdf and you can get this as an extension to chrome and this way you'll see there's lots of different ways to compress files so hers happened to be an mov file but it did not need compressed but if it did 
I would click on this, upload the file here, it would compress it, download it back to my folder, and it would be a much smaller file. Another way to do this would be to use YouTube, uh, upload it to YouTube, set it as private, and then download it from YouTube using one of the you know YouTube download uh, programs that are there's so many available and that will also compress it for you but I find that this program is the easiest one to use out of all the videos that I've received over you know 35 plus I think I've only had to do this maybe three times but other than that uh, I haven't had to use that so we go back and there she is we're gonna click next and it's gonna bring up a screen wanting to take a photo and we do not want a photo of me remember I said I'm using the whiteboard instead so we use this uh, button right here board I'm going to click whiteboard and then we're going to click the text and we need to pick let's do hers and let's do red and I'll type her name and her last name colon her grade she's an eighth grader and what she is doing and she is acting and I will bring that up here I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so it's easy and eye-catching to see there she is screenshot it there's a little button right here take a picture and there it is and next and now it's going to come up oh no we don't want my name so I'm going to put her name here and then under here I'll put in the eighth grade and acting again and submit video and that's it all done and so there she is ready to go and she's added to our virtual talent show so the only thing that I'm waiting to do at the very end once I have everyone uploaded is I'm going to record the last one which will be actually the first one that will start our slideshow and that's just going to be me explaining you know our virtual talent show and how to respond appropriately to videos this is a time where we want to share our glows for each one of our performers not to necessarily provide any feedback that is a grow so I'm going to go over some basic expectations of how to respond politely and encouraging to all of our amazing talented students and staff who are going to be participating but in a way that is not um, in any way telling them how they could have done better but instead of just you know supporting them and encouraging them and giving the love and respect that they deserve so uh, hopefully this helps you in making your own virtual talent show I think this is an awesome idea a wonderful way to get everybody involved in your school community and to be able to provide that community feedback so I hope you enjoyed this and good luck